You've most definitely seen these text animations. I've used After Effects and after following an amazing tutorial from Mark and the Demons, I've got this text animation. But what if I could tell you that this could be made much easier for beginners and possibly advanced users? This is Jitter. If you've never heard of it, it's a super clean browser based tool for making animations. In this video, I'll show you how to make cool animations like these and show you how to export them without paying a subscription. Since Jitter is based on Figma, it has most of the tools. Figma is a UX design tool which is slightly similar to Adobe XD. However, the pitch that they're trying to convey is that it's web-based, meaning it's very multi-user friendly. Jitter is extremely user friendly and you don't need to know a thing about motion design. Let's get into the video. Visit jitter.video and sign in with your preferred option. Once you're in, you'll see the opening page. If you're new to motion design or anything else, start by exploring the template section. They're both interactive and editable, perfect for learning the basics. But for this tutorial, we'll create a new file from scratch. Our goal is to recreate the YouTube player window in a dark theme. Set your scene dimensions to 1920 by 1080. To create a background, either change the scene color or add a rectangle and resize it to fit the scene. To resize the rectangle or anything in Jitter, hold shift to resize from a corner or option plus shift for Mac and for Windows, alt plus shift to resize from the center. Look at any YouTube video for reference. Study the icon placement and layout. Back in Jitter, draw a rectangle for the player window. Resize it and position it. On the right panel under the design tab, increase the corner radius to around 25 to round the edges. Use a lighter gray to make the window pop from the background. Insert a text box for the title. Choose your font, example Helvetica, color and position. Import your YouTube channel logo and make it circular. There's two ways to do this. Either mask it with a circle shape or simply set the corner radius to 100. Resize it and place it below the title. Creating the search bar, go to Google icons, search for search and download the SVG version. SVGs keep colors editable and resolution sharp. Back in Jitter, draw a rectangle, adjust dimensions, set corner radius to 100. Or we'll color it. This should give you the search bar. Search and download the like and dislike icons from Google Icons. Add the icons, recolor, resize and position them. Duplicate your search bar rectangle and resize it as the like and dislike section. To give a divider, use the pen tool to draw a thin line with small gaps near the edges. Copy your title text and rename it numerically. Draw a rectangle, recolor it and position it. Duplicate the title text, change it to subscribe and adjust its size and alignment. Duplicate the like and dislike section, find the share icon from Google icons, resize it. Copy and rename the text to share. Repositioning everything, especially the player window for professional look. Duplicate the icon to use as a profile icon in the top right corner. Duplicate the search bar for the create button, rename it and adjust. In Google icons, search for a notification bell icon. Place it in a small colored circle that you've remade and position it beside the create button. Use the pen tool to draw a white line and then add a little red circle for the progress dot. Search for play and volume icons. Download them and position them. Add a rectangle for the volume bar, adjust its opacity and corner radius. Duplicate the title and add a timestamp. Add icons for subtitles, settings, HD, full screen, adjusting their rectangles, colors and layers to match YouTube's layout. Settings normally has a settings and then above in near the cogs, there's a HD little logo there. Now extend the scene. Change the scene to about 1920 by 2000 to make space below for you to work. Duplicate. I feel like I'm saying duplicate so many times. Duplicate the player window and other. <laughs> duplicate the player window and other grouped elements downward. Rename them as needed and grip all the related layers. This keeps everything organized, however, it does take a lot of time. Yay! 
duplicate the title, position it on the search bar and rename it to something. Duplicate it again for text under the subscribe button. Finally, it's time to animate. Set the scene back to 1920 by 1080 and make sure all player elements are grouped. We are now going to be doing the slide and fade animation. Select the elements in the player, click new animation custom and then move. Change Y position to 100. This will make it slide down. Add another animation. Go to new animation and then opacity. Change the opacity from 100% to 0%. 100% should be initial, 0% should be 2. Adjust duration and easing for a smoother motion. For the typing effect for search bar, select the search text, new animation, in and then appear. Set the apply effect to letters. Group everything and then new animation custom move and then make the move to value to negative 300 watt. Add another animation, custom, and then scale to 150%. This is what you call the zoom. Fine tune the positions with the on-screen controls. Duplicate the text below, subscribe, and replace it with a bump emoji. You will have to select the text behind and then delete the fist bump and add spaces for a gap. For the fist bump emoji, we're going to animate it. Add custom and then rotation. The first rotation will be 45 degrees and then duplicate it as a negative 45 degree. Then add a scale in to around about 150%, then scale out back to 100%. The final zoom out animation. I don't know why I say this last. Select all the animations, move them slightly right on the timeline. We're now going to animate the big group. Go to new animation, custom and then scale. Select the initial value to 275% and then the two value to 100% as a zooming out effect. Now, hopefully you are waiting for this moment to export it in pristine quality. Hit the export button, move your eyes downwards and look at the lottie. It should say your resolution, 1920 by 1080. You click it and your left side of your screen will have the preview of your animation. Download it, then visit Lottie to MP4 Converter. Drag and drop your .json file, convert it to 60fps, it's the fastest option. Congratulations, you've created the YouTube player and animated it in somewhat of a new software. All these skills can help you create a nice and easy animations for absolutely anything. Now back to the voiceover Ruben Zerk. Hope you learned something new and have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye bye!